Bobo is a nine-year-old partially blind dog that is human aggressive and dog aggressive. He basically hates to be bothered with anything. Here is a bit of a highlight video on his last day with us of how we get him out of his pen or crate, leash him up, and start working with him. You will see where he is at training-wise and things that we're still getting him to progress to, as well as rely on us more. Many things like touch and leash pressure are specific to his case, but can help a number of different scenarios. Hi, Bobo. Good boy. Good boy. Showing your belly a lot the last couple days. Good boy. Before I tighten it, I like to give him a goodie because it's bound to be a little uncomfortable for him. So it always goes, e-collars always go on the side of the neck, on this side or this side, never right underneath. Isn't that right, buddy? Now I'm going to move his slip leash to the top, the top part, because that's important, and tighten it down without pulling on him. Good job. This is our last bout of patterning here. Isn't it, bud? Yep. Smell it? Sit. Sit down. Oh, okay. <laughs> no? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Got him at a two. Bobo, come. Go, boy. Come. Place. Down. Good. We've gotten to the point where he gets so excited with food, we have him do a few repetitions before we give him food. Um, we really make him work for it so he doesn't quite get so keyed up by it. But in the beginning, his owners um, will use food pretty consistently, at least the first few days. See, this is just excitement. <laughs> I know he looks a little crazy. No, down. But this is just excitement. He always does this kind of in the beginning a little bit. And I'm just tapping at a two. Bubble come. And I always, I'm always really, really conscious about getting sideways pressure, pressure, never giving up sideways pressure. Place. Place. Down. Good. He's already much more settled. Bubble, come. Good boy. Good boy, Bubble. Right here. <laughs> Place. Good. So, so that time he found it himself, um, started to overshoot it, but, fi no, but fixed himself because he's just calming down a little bit. These are excitement stuff. Um, I've been seeing a little bit more of this stuff since we've met with his owners a few times and that's really common for me with all the dogs um, is sometimes I'll see a new behavior um, after even after the owners have gone um, so some of the stuff he's he does to get food is bark make cute little gremlin noises paw at you things like that and so the last few days we've been seeing more of that <laughs> after after seeing the owners but again that's that's totally normal <laughs> but we just don't feed into it you know 
that's kind of the important thing. Yeah, you're stuck now. What'd you do? There you go. Um, so for instance, down, I'm going to go to a three, down, for, um, for instance, uh, if I was about to give him a piece of kibble and he did that flip over on me or made little gremlin noises or pawed at me or anything like that, no food. I would not give him food. <laughs> now, if he actually makes noise or invades my space by pawing at me, I will say no and tap. But for the rollover stuff, um, we don't really bother with that unless it gets really excessive. I'm going to scroll back down to a two. No. Like that's a no. He purposely pawed <laughs> at me. Down. It's amazing how um, we're starting to see, how much we're starting to see this stuff. Down. After seeing his owners, it's like the, all that previous association has really bled in for him. Bubble cup. Good boy. Watch out. Okay. That's my bad, buddy. I know. Shake it off. <laughs> Place. Down. Good. I'm still going to have him do it a couple more times before he gets food. The reason why is because I want him to get all this jittery out of him. No more pawn. No more trying to show his belly. No more acting all silly in place command. I'm going to wait till he's nice and settled. Then I'll start to add in the food. And if the owners start to see that really quickly, they can do the same thing. Um, however, in the beginning, especially with the new person that's going to be handling him, they'll use food every time. See, like all this stuff. <laughs> this is him trying to manipulate me to get food. Down. Good. Good job. Bubble, come. This way, bud. Bubble, come. So, you know, see a little bit of confusion about where I am. That's why it's so important to have proper um, leash guidance to the side. Bubble cum. And, and to the side, I mean, um, it is to the side, but it's horizontal, right? It's very, very horizontal. Place. Down, good, there you go. I knew he could do it on his own. After he settles a little bit, I'll start to just say place. And give him a chance to lay down on his own because he'll he'll do it most of the time. Good job, bubble cum. Good boy. Come on, buddy. Place. Good. Very good. So this I'll start to give him food for. He's calmed down enough to where he's not acting all silly. He's not overshooting place and he's laying down on his own. So now, you know, we're at the point where um, I'll wait this long to start to give him a reward. And again, to be honest, if he's doing, if he's doing good with the patterning aspect um, in, back in his home, even with the new person, I'll have them do the same thing. Just wait, you know, a few repetitions for him to settle. Just going to walk around him now, now that he's settled. I would never try this. The first few repetitions. So he can tell I'm moving around. And you guys have to understand he's partially blind. So even me moving the leash like this, he can feel that. So I'm trying to be real careful not to uh, move the leash around. Good. Good job, Bobo. That was good. Yeah, good job, little man. Bubble come. Good boy, come. Yeah, good job. Good boy, come. Place. Good. Very good. You guys see how much better that is? Good. And I'm just going to, you know, even though he did good, oh, look at that tail. Even though he did good, I'm just going to make him wait a second before I give him any food. You know, it doesn't need to be right away, um, which could kind of leave him amped up. Down. Good boy. Good. Bubble come. Yay. Good boy. Good job. Place. Down. So you guys can see how, you know, I am having to bend over a lot. Um, luckily, 
these people are young. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to lie, it would be difficult. <laughs> um, because he's, he's a bit of a, a bit of a back burner. Just make sure you bend at the waist and try to keep a flat back. Try not to hunch your shoulders over. I work with puppies a lot too, and, and no. Good, that was no leash guidance at all. I did step back though, and he might have sensed that. I am gonna reward him for that one, because that was a good reset on his own. Good job, buddy. Um, and I, I try to be really mindful. No, again, that was, this is food excitement. We definitely want to use food with him. It's important. It keeps him in a good state of mind. We always have to, we have to counteract food with really low, boring, neutral tone as much as possible. Um, and, uh, and just have a firmness in the way that we handle him. Things like that to try to counteract all the food excitement we do. Um, but anyway, with the puppy stuff, you know, with the small dog stuff, um, you, you really do have to be conscious of it. You get a puppy, you're going you're gonna to have a, bit, a few back aches trying to train him. Bobo, come. Got a boy. Come. <laughs> Bobo, come. Come here, bud. Come here. Good boy. Good job. So I just gave him a couple little pop cues place. Good. Down. Very good. I just gave him, like, I had a loose leash. I just gave him some pop cues. Not like a correction, just some little pop cues. No? Down. Good. I'm going to try to do some distance and then, um, then I'll get his stuff together and he goes home. No? Down? So I said no out of two. Gave him a minute because he didn't run off, so I gave him a minute. Went up to a four. Down? So he's not listening, so I'm going to give him a second. No? Good. Down. Good. So that no really helped. That no, that when the down didn't work and he was about to get off of place, that um, no stopped him. So that was good because sometimes, sometimes a no sends him running. He's like, what do you mean no? It takes off. Good job, bud. Good boy. A lot of the spinning around you see when I move away from him is him trying to find me. Especially in this room, my voice really echoes, makes it difficult. Good job, Bobo. Very good. Very good, buddy. Beneath being so chill like this and just waiting, I'll low key give him food, but I do have to understand that that excitement could cause him to be more likely to get up. Try to counteract that best I can with low e collar cues, firm leash direction if I need to, if he really gets nutty, and, um, and firm tone. Good. Good job. <laughs> I like how, you know, and that's the thing, when I say good, see his tail wags. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. But when I say good, down, down, good, his tail wags. So that just really tells me that I have to be careful. Um, I have to be careful about my tone which I did a little short video on last night. Good, good. He's in a good disposition. He's looking at my hand like it might have food. Not nervous. Good. It's a good way we can always test him if we think he is having an attitude. And we don't want to get bit, you know, the best way to do it is to just put something up against him. Put it on top of him. It's a pillow. It's nice and soft. But just use it for pressure. Good. Good job. And when he does good, he can get a goodie or a verbal good job. But it gives us an idea of his attitude if we think he might have a little bit of an attitude. And we don't want to get bit. And then, of course, we always use the slip leash if he actually shows teeth. But um, 
No? I'm going to give him a minute. It's really important. I'm at a four. Down. Bubble, down. All right, I'm going to give him a minute again. Down. He can't. I'm squatting down, guys. He's looking for me. Down. All right, so I changed it up a bit. What I was doing was usually if I'm at like a four, I can just hold the button down like a, like a two, three, four to where it's kind of like someone putting a hand on you and just pressure. And I'll hold, if, if, if tapping and you know telling him no or down doesn't work, I'll actually hold down for just a couple seconds, like two, three seconds. And that'll usually do it, he'll usually settle. But he didn't, he was looking for me and I'm squatted down behind the, the camera thing. And um, so I switched it up, I, I told his owners don't go over five in the house. Um, but I went to a six, but I didn't hit continuous because continuous, even if I tap continuous, it's pretty firm. No. Um, so what I did was I tapped momentary, which is like one 25th of a second or something like that. It's uh, really, really, um, short. <laughs> so I went to a six, but I did that, that quick tap. So it wasn't too high for him but yet had a little bit more impact and he reset himself. So just kind of playing around. Um, we've finally been able to play around some this last week. Um, so that's just what I'm continuing to do even before he goes home. I'm just gonna wait him out for a second. I am gonna scroll back down. I don't wanna stay that high more than once or twice. Down, good job. See, look at him looking for me, bless his heart. Um, so I went down to a three and I did, I don't know if you could see the red, but I held it down and did pressure. See, that wouldn't work before because he was kind of frantically looking for me, wondering where I was. Um, and I did the six, that kind of settled him down and then my three worked. So it's all about really playing around, guys. Don't look at the numbers, look at the dogs. And with, with, you know, with him, between two and three, three and four, four and five, five and six, all of that is, is, uh, is, a, is a big difference for Bobo. No? No? So when I see this, I go to him right away. Hey, bud. I know. I'm here. Down. He seems so surprised. <laughs> Good job, bud. So anyway... This is a long video, but I hope you guys have enjoyed um, our journey with Bobo. It's been different than what you guys are used to seeing, having a small dog that's as reactive as him, doing all the pressure training you guys are used to seeing, not with larger dogs, and it's, it's different, you know, it's definitely different. So, everyone say goodbye to Bobo. He's got his new little haircut, and his nails trimmed, and he is ready to go home, aren't you bud? Yeah, you're ready to go.